Sis, I have something important to tell you. Is this a good time? It's been a while. What's going on? Dad hasn't been feeling too well lately. So I'm taking him to the hospital. Will you come with me? Huh? Hospital again? I mean, why do I have to go too? It's true that you just went there the other day. But this time it's more serious. The doctor wants to examine him more closely. Hmm. It wasn't something important, right? It was. He looks like he's in a lot of pain. Well, he's old. You'll come with me, right, sis? I don't want to. Why don't you two just go? You guys always do. I'd be lonely on my own. I need someone to keep me company. Maybe they'll announce something important. What? A big announcement? Like a terminal diagnosis? You're overreacting, aren't you? I'm worried when I see Dad. I think he wants you to come too. I'm sorry I can't. I'm busy with work. I'm working too. You're just a part-timer. Don't compare me to you. I used to be a full-time employee. But I had to take care of Dad, so I became a part-timer. Please? Will you go with me to the hospital just once? You're so stubborn! I told you I can't! Can't you do something about that? I'm sorry, but I don't have time for your selfishness. What do you mean, selfish? See you later! Wait a minute, sis. Sis, I have some updates for you. Huh? What now? Don't ask me to go to the hospital again. Our father is in critical condition. What? Why don't you hurry over here right now? You didn't come to visit him at all. I think he'd at least like to see you one last time. So the time has finally come. What do you mean? Never mind. I'll be there, don't worry. Oh, and has the funeral been planned yet? Wait a minute, sis. I'm telling you that he is in critical condition. I never said anything about a funeral. Got it. Maybe I'm rushing into things. It's an impending issue. I'll be there tomorrow. They said the worst of it is making it through tonight. If you don't come now, I'm afraid it might be too late. Well, that's just the way it is then. But I'll be there, don't worry. I'll have to take what I can get. Sis, what are you talking about? Are you listening to me? Are you following me? Our father is in critical condition. You may never see him again. Are you okay with that? I know, you're overreacting. We haven't seen each other for the past few years. It doesn't mean much to me when you say that we won't be able to see each other anymore. I'm like, okay. <laughs> for you, maybe. But for him, it's not. You should come today. Are you really his daughter? You should at least be by his deathbed with me. You forced me to take care of him. Why don't you honor him for the last time? Shut up, you little goody two-shoes. You were only with him for the money, weren't you? Huh? I know you were with him for his inheritance. Whatever you've planned is useless because I'm the eldest daughter. Okay, okay, I know we're rich. Our grandfather is rich. You're hiding it, aren't you? What are you talking about? Anyway, I'll take it all. I'll try to get there early. I have to go before someone takes it away from me. 
I don't know what you're talking about, but you better get here soon. Before it's too late. Sis? Where are you now? You had already left the hospital room before I knew it. I'm already home! Huh? Home? I don't like hospitals. They smell like medicine. You have to be quiet. Well, your father is dying. You're being so dramatic. It's not true that her father is dying, is it? That's what the doctor said, so I'm sure. He's holding on for now. I shouldn't have rushed over there. I took a day off to go all the way out there. You don't have to say it like that. Your father is going through a rough time. And I don't know if it's the meds or what. Dad just slept the whole time and couldn't even talk to me. I went there with such high expectations. I wish I could have that time back. Expectations? What did you expect? Nothing! Well, maybe soon enough. Huh? I'm going out for a drink with friends. You're going out for a drink? At a time like this? Shut up! All that matters right now is that you're next to him. Well, if something happens to him, call me again. I might not be able to pick up the phone right away, though. <laughs> Sis, I tried to call you several times, but I couldn't get through. So I'm going to text you. Dad passed away. What? When? Right after you went home. Wow! I didn't expect it to be so soon. I'm so sorry. If you'd stayed at the hospital, you could have been by his deathbed. What can I do? I didn't think he'd die today. What are you talking about? I told you he was dying. Okay, okay. I have to make arrangements for the wake and funeral. You'll help me, right, sis? I'm too busy. Busy? You're the one who took care of Dad. You should be the one to take care of him to the very end. I can't believe that's coming from his own daughter. But I'll be at the wake. Hey, sis. The funeral's over. Where are you? It's good that you and your husband came to the wake yesterday. You didn't do anything until now. But you acted like you're the eldest daughter, like you're so proud of yourself. You just got drunk and went to bed. You didn't attend the funeral today. You don't have a hangover or something, do you? If that's the case, I really doubt your humanity. I drank a lot yesterday for the first time in a long time. But as you can imagine, the alcohol has worn off. It's already two in the afternoon. Why didn't you come to the funeral? I had some errands to run. What errands? Dad left me something good at the last minute. What? What good thing? I found his bank book. What? Well, my husband and I were just saying that we wanted to buy our own house soon. It's a good timing. What are you talking about? Even though we don't have kids, we didn't want to live in a small apartment forever. But now, we'll get to live in a big mansion. It's been a dream of mine for years to live in a house with a pool. I'm so happy to finally make my dream come true. No, um... I don't understand it all. Can you explain it? Dad had three million saved up, and I spent it all. Huh? Three million from Dad? You're kidding. I'm not kidding. There was three million in his account. That's impossible. 
What do you mean you spent it? If you really did spend it, why are you telling me without showing any remorse? It doesn't make any sense to me. I don't understand it. You're an idiot, aren't you? What? You've always been an idiot and not that clever. I've taken advantage of you. I never wanted to take care of my old father. I'm so glad you took care of him. And I get to keep all the good parts, don't I? So, what does that mean? Don't you get it? You really are dumb, aren't you? Well... I stole his bank book during the funeral. Stole? I was at my parents' house during the funeral. And I found his bank book in a drawer on a shelf in the living room. Wait a minute. That's... I'm telling you, it's his fault, okay? He left it unlocked. He's so careless. Um... I was right. Our father saved up a lot of money. I could buy a $3 million house with this money. That's... not his money. What? What are you talking about? It was in his account, so it's his money. Did you check the name on the bank book? What? There's no way he has that much money. He was paying for mom's nursing home. But the balance in the bank book was definitely three million. I counted the digits over and over to make sure. Not the amount. Look at the name printed in the bank book. The name is different. Could it be Grandpa's hidden in the house? Huh? Grandpa's? You must have taken Grandpa's bank book by mistake because you were in a hurry to steal it. It's true. This is Grandpa's name. I didn't notice that at all. Well, their names are very similar. Well, then... You didn't spend the money in the account without permission, did you? Um... If Grandpa found out, you'll be in big trouble. If it's Grandpa's account, does that mean I can't use it? Of course you can't use it. But I'm his granddaughter. As his grandchild, can't I inherit it? Grandpa is still alive. What? Can't I inherit it if he's still alive? What are you talking about? Of course not. What should I do? You took Grandpa's hidden savings without permission. You've completely messed up. You do realize that Grandpa is an active politician and is a very scary man, right? They call him the boss in the political world. Wait a minute! What's this? I'm going back to replace it right now. Huh? What do you mean, replace it? I'll be over there as soon as I can. Get our father's bank book ready. I'll put Grandpa's bank book back where it belongs. After what you just said, there's no way I'm giving you our father's bank book. I don't understand how quickly you're going to change it to our father's bank book. And like I said before, he never had any inheritance to begin with. And to think that you snuck into our parents' house for that? I'm really disgusted. When did you become such a disgusting person? Now is not the time to be talking like that. I've already shown the account and paid the down payment. I can't undo it. I'm stunned. You've already signed the contract? Our father had some savings, right? Why don't I take it all? That doesn't work. Why not? It's written in the will. All of his savings went to mom before his death. Since she's in a nursing home, he wants to make sure she can be taken care of. 
I think it's a very loving and wonderful thing he did. What about me then? Grandpa's pissed. What? Is he there? Of course he is. He was at the funeral. Dad is his own son. I see. Of course he'll make you pay back everything you spent. Well, you can't use it. There is security on it. I don't think you could spend it. Maybe he'll get mad at you for lying and stealing. Am I in trouble? Why did you tell Grandpa? It's your fault! Even if I hadn't said anything, the bank would have contacted him because of security. I'm sure Grandpa would have found out as soon as he looked into it. What about my mansion? I went to sign the lease as soon as I heard about him dying. I already borrowed and paid the down payment. What should I do? Don't ask me. Well, even if you bought the house, I guess they'll take away the mansion and you'll only be left with a down payment. What? You're kidding. I thought it was just a temporary thing, so I borrowed from a place where I could borrow quickly. I borrowed the down payment in a hurry from a slightly shady place. Will I get in trouble if I don't repay it quickly? I guess it depends on how shady the place is. Well, there's a good chance that the collectors are pretty shady. What should I do? Should I ask my mom for help? I mean, mom has his savings, right? I would never allow that. To spend the money he left for mom. Can't you see that's not something I would allow? Besides, mother is appalled. You deserve to be completely ignored. Maybe I should ask grandpa for help. It's not like I wanted to steal from grandpa. I mean... I wasn't trying to steal from him. I just took it because I thought it was an inheritance that was going to go to me. It was inevitable. I don't think so. I think you should just shut up. Are you out of your mind trying to depend on Grandpa after what you did? I just told Grandpa and he's giving a wry smile. Huh? Why did you tell him? I could have asked him differently. I'm sure you'd get the same reaction no matter how you ask. He's saying he's going to cut you off. Oh no! What should I do, Janet? If I don't do anything, those collectors will take me somewhere. Goodbye, sis. Goodbye? You don't care what will happen to me? I don't even consider you my sister anymore, so I don't care. Huh? Janet? I didn't really feel like we are family. To be honest, I didn't like you for a long time. I've finally come to the conclusion that I want to break it off with you. What? Why? What the hell did I do? You left me in charge of our father's care. You didn't come to visit him or help me. You stole Grandpa's bank book from the house during the funeral and tried to spend the money. As you can imagine, both my mom and Grandpa are disgusted. Remember that you offended all of your relatives. We're going to cut off ties with you from now on. Wait a minute! So you're saying no one will help me? I don't have this kind of money! Why don't you ask your husband? It seems your husband had the same idea. I'm afraid he won't be able to help you, though, because I'm sure he's a total jerk. Of course he agreed with me. Who wouldn't want to have a lot of money? It's not that easy to get a lot of money. Face the reality. By the way, our father didn't have any inheritance at all. I inherited his land. There's nothing for you to inherit. Huh? Then give me the land. It's worth a lot of money if you sell it, right? I'm your sister. I should be entitled to it. I only inherited it according to the will. It 
that's not fair. You get the land and I get nothing? You're supposed to inherit the family house. I don't need that old house. Maybe you should just give up your right to inherit it so you don't have to pay anything. You'd have to renovate to sell it. Oh no! I'll be left with nothing but garbage! Well, that's one way to look at it. Or maybe it's Dad's way of reminding you of your old family. Either way, it doesn't seem to work for you. I don't think you can become a better person. I hope you and your husband can work together to pay off your debt. Wait a minute! Are you really going to give up on me? What about my mansion? Please ask Grandpa. I didn't mean to steal his money. I'm a stranger to you now, so I don't have to listen to you. Don't depend on our family, okay? Well then, goodbye. My sister was fired from her job along with her husband. It was, of course, my grandfather who made that happen. He is a politician and close to a number of business owners. The presidents of my sister and her husband's company were no exception. Both of them were unemployed and desperately looking for work, but they could not find a decent job. And their debts only grew. The contract for the mansion was also voided due to our grandfather's arrangements. My sister's long-time dream ended in vain. Things got even worse for her. Her stealing the bank book was reported to the police. She was arrested. She tried desperately to make excuses, but the influence of the grandfather was too great. She was at her wit's end. In court, her misdeeds were exposed in detail. She was ridiculed by many people. Her husband also abandoned her and filed for divorce. In the end, she lost everything and got no help from anyone. She is going to prison. Meanwhile, I bought a condominium with the inheritance my father left me. I went back to work full-time from a part-time job. From time to time, I visit my mother in nursing home. I spend my days peacefully. My childhood friend passed away, so I'm going to attend the funeral. Who is it? You probably won't know him if I say it. It's Jones. What? The funeral is tomorrow, so I need you to handle various things. Are you sure about this? Who would get such information wrong? Right. I guess I need to prepare the morning dress. My hometown is about two hours away, so I think I can come back the same day. I see. So you'll be back for dinner tomorrow then? Sure. Was he sick? Hmm, not sure. I haven't asked for the details, so I don't know yet. I see. He was so young. Was he married? Yeah, he was registered. His wife was pregnant, so they hadn't had a wedding yet. Leaving his family behind, it's heartbreaking, isn't it? Yeah. Should I come with you? What? Why? You're shocked, right? I was thinking it might be unsafe for you to drive. I'm fine. I'm going by train. But driving would be more convenient, right? I've arranged to go with a friend. Who? Even if I tell Grace, you won't know. I see. Well, that's how it is. Got it. Don't get too down. Yeah, thanks. Hey, liar. Jones is alive. Also, we're together right now. Oh, excuse me. I'm Grace, a 28-year-old housewife. I've been married to Alan for two years, and we don't have any children yet. He doesn't know. Jones's wife is my best friend. There's a reason for this. Initially, Jones was the representative of the bride's friends. He was going to bring me up in his speech and surprise Alan. Then my best friend Lily and I jumped on board. But when Lily's pregnancy came to light, the plan was postponed. We were looking forward to that day. And just yesterday, Jones and Lily were in the neighborhood. They had come for a visit to a friend, so we just had tea. I wonder why Alan is lying. I think I'll tease him a little more and play along.
It's raining, isn't it? What is it? It's pouring. They say it's raining heavily all over New York. It's like the sky is crying. Oh, it really is starting to rain. We should have brought extra shoes and socks too. No, it's okay. I'll manage somehow. I guess I'm really no good. That's not true. I appreciate it. Maybe I should go to a family restaurant. Huh? It's boring at home. That's perfect then. You should go. I don't think I can make it home today. After all. Really? Why is that? I made dinner. It's a kima curry. Sorry. We're all going to have a drink. We're going to say goodbye to Jones. Yeah, I understand. I figured it would turn out like that. I'll stay at my parents' house. My mother also told me to take it easy. Do you have a battery? For your phone? I want to eat a lemon. I got mixed up while watching TV. Isn't your response slower today? You seem off. My router's not doing well. Isn't that unrelated? I got chills. Are you okay? Maybe it's a cough. You should get some rest. There should be some medicine. You should take it. After you eat something. That's true. There's been an incident in Chicago. Oh, on the TV? Cities can be scary. Indeed. You have a health checkup next week, right? I remember. Ha, huh, Grace? Oh, she might have fallen asleep. I'll contact her again tomorrow. That's a pretty long funeral. Don't be sarcastic. I was visiting places that hold memories with Jones. My mother also told me to take it easy. Where are you now? At Jones's parents' house. Classmates are gathering. We've decided to distribute some of his mementos. I see. Do you think you'll get something memorable? I chose his pen. He used to use it a lot. That's nice. I feel like I can go on living with his memories. There's someone I want to introduce to Alan. Who? Wait a moment. I'll call him. Who the heck is it? You're a fair partner. You think like that because you're the one having an affair? Hey, Alan. Long time no see. Heaven is a great place. You should come soon. Oh, your destination might be hell. Grace, what kind of prank is this? Using the name of a dead person. Isn't it too much to tease me like this? It's really him. He has something to tell you from the other world. There's no such thing. Jones is gone. Still insisting, even though the person himself appeared. I even went to the funeral. You won't accept it. If you knew, you should have said it straight away. I just wanted to have a little fun. How did you find out? Don't you know who Jones's wife is? I haven't met her because they haven't had their wedding ceremony yet. She's my best friend. What? I met with them the day before you went to the funeral. I got a group chat message in the middle of it saying Jones is dead. That's strange, right? He was right in front of me. No, that's not it. What's not it? I thought you were my best friend. I never thought I'd be used as an alibi for cheating. Jones, believe me, I thought we were best friends too. There's a reason for this, though. The funeral itself was real, right? Yeah, it was actually my ex-girlfriend's funeral. I had a good relationship with her parents. They asked me to come to see her one last time. I see. You would have not accepted I was going to my ex-girlfriend's funeral, right, Grace? In the heat of the moment, I lied and said that Jones was dead. I'm truly sorry. Ah, uh, is it over? What is? Your long-winded excuse. But it's the truth. Then why? Why were you the chief mourner? What? I was surprised. You were making a chief mourner's speech. Saying things like, today is for my wife. Huh? Then what am I? I was surprised. Wait, why? When I heard it was Jones's funeral, I knew it was a lie 100%. That's why I followed you. No way. I was panicked when I boarded the train. I didn't know whether to go west or north. I bought a ticket just in case. But you didn't get off at all. You followed me all the way to the end? When I heard the announcement for Boston, I was exhausted. Just take a plane. I couldn't believe such a huge thing could fly. When I said it was raining that day, you just went along with it. But it was sunny all over the United States. Are you serious? When I followed you in a taxi from the station, the destination was a funeral home. 
A woman's name I didn't know, Olivia Smith. There was a sign, and I really didn't understand. Did you come inside? Fortunately, I was in all black, so I could sneak into the lobby at least. I didn't notice at all. Thanks to my pointless skill of being able to talk to anyone, I was able to find out a lot. Seriously? In the lobby, I casually said to the husband who was left behind, it's so pitiful. Then a talkative Boston madam told me, that man seems to be the de facto husband. Huh. Apparently, she had no parents, siblings, or even relatives. She was alone in the world. Only her friends and co-workers came to the funeral. That's right, she was a lonely person. You often went on business trips to Boston, didn't you? Is that when you met her? Yes, she seemed so lonely. She seemed so fleeting, like she could disappear. I thought I had to protect her. What the hell are you saying? How dare you say that in front of Grace? Thank you, Jones, but it's okay. I want to know everything. Grace, if I didn't hold a funeral for her, who would? At least let her set off on her last journey watched over by someone. I won't be punished for that. You may not be punished, but you should take responsibility. It wasn't infidelity, it was like volunteering. Just by being there, she said she found hope to live. I thought I was helping someone, so forgive me. Oh really? Then why don't you hum while running a marathon in a morning dress? I know I did wrong, but it's all over now. Then what's this insurance policy for? Huh? You're saying you've taken out insurance on the de facto wife you volunteered to take care of? Why? I hid it in my parents' house. I brought my mother-in-law's favorite cookies. I went to visit yesterday and while I was there, I went to the room you used to use. I wanted to read a certain book so I let myself in. I thought you might be hiding something. What a good intuition you have. Hey Jones, you work at an insurance company, right? Yeah. Can a de facto husband be a beneficiary? A de facto husband with a spouse can't be a beneficiary. I see. But this insurance policy lists this idiot as the beneficiary. When was the contract date? 2019. Before you married Grace, you could have been the beneficiary. I see. Alan, what does this mean? Well... We got married in 2020. Were you dating before that? I guess that's how it works. I'm not sure. Unbelievable. How could you propose and hold a wedding in that situation? I'm sorry. Yeah, right. What kind of apology is that? Well, what can I do? No matter how I try to explain myself now, it's too late. I've known you since we were kids, but I never thought you were such a jerk. Shut up. You were two timing in high school, weren't you? Don't make things up. I started dating after I properly broke up. That's not the point right now. Oh, sorry. Alan, you don't have any children, do you? No. Good. I'm glad. Goodbye. Wait, what do you mean by that? It's something you say when you're saying goodbye. You're not going to mention divorce, are you? Huh? Olivia is no longer here, and you can get the insurance money. $80,000. Why don't we use it for a down payment and buy a condo? Are you serious? I think she left this world. For our happiness. She had that kind of modest side to her. What the? I just got goosebumps. Jones, I've caused you trouble too. How about high-end barbecue? I don't mind opening an expensive bottle of wine. I can't believe it. Why not? I met a woman on a business trip. I was kind to her and became the beneficiary of her insurance. Fortunately, she disappeared in a few years. Isn't that the whole story? Let's think positively. I don't know anything about that person. I didn't even go into the funeral hall, so I haven't even seen her portrait. But I know that she was not the kind of person who deserved to be talked about like that by a shitty person like you. At least there were a lot of people at the funeral who had tears in their eyes. She was the kind of person who couldn't leave someone in trouble alone. Did she know you were married? Of course I didn't tell her. He's the type to say, I'm sorry to my wife. And I'd be in trouble if I lost my free accommodation with meals in Boston. How low can you go? So why are you still there after so many days? I have things to do, like submitting documents to the government office. I want to withdraw all the money from the bank. Did she leave a will? No, 
but she had no relatives, so everything should be mine. You're a stranger, you're married to me. You can't become a de facto husband, right Jones? Yeah, you probably can't become the beneficiary of the insurance either. You're deceiving the insurance company, so it wouldn't be strange if you were sued for fraud. I'm not deceiving anyone. When you married Grace, you lost your qualification as a beneficiary. What the? You're a rare kind of scum. I wish I could think that it was a dream that such a person was my husband. I wish I could erase my memories of being friends. With this guy for decades. Wait a minute. What's up? Didn't the company think it was strange that you didn't have any hotel? Charges every time you went on a business trip to Boston? That's none of your business. I see, you made the reservation with a card, and had the receipt issued in advance, and then you cancelled it at a time, when there would be no cancellation fee. What a sneaky guy. How did you figure that out? I saw through what you would think. I'll be back tomorrow. There's no home for you to return to. I'm not going to get the insurance money and lose my real wife. Ah, it's no good, when you go beyond anger, I can't find the words to say. I can't even get angry. I know. There are no words to say. Let's end it. Let's end it like this. Yeah, let's do that. Wait, wait. Don't you have anything to say? Idiot, fool, cheater. Wi-Fi waste. I'm also wasting my gigabytes. Don't say such things. I'll be back. Wait for me. Thanks to my fear of flying. I had plenty of time to pack. I packed my bags and left the house. I went to my parents' house and Lily's place. It seems like he imposed himself on them. I'm staying at a monthly apartment, so he won't find me. Jones reported to the insurance company that there was an unfair contract. The insurance was invalidated. The fact that he took money out of Ms. Smith's account without permission was reported as theft. It seems he was arrested. His fraudulent business trips were exposed at his company and it seems he was fired. He is being asked to repay nearly $7,000 in travel expenses, including my claim for consolation money. He has nearly $20,000 in payments waiting for him. His parents have also cut off ties with him. Friends who heard about the rumor through Jones have also distanced themselves. Now he's living from hand to mouth. As a day laborer on a construction site, the divorce was finalized. A new life is beginning. It's hard to see the true nature of people. For a while, I think I'll enjoy my single life.